Hey everyone, what's up? Hey guys, my name's Travis Smythe. My name is Alex Tuanalat. My name's Rory Key. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Indonesia. I'm 26. I play on the Asian tour and I live in Sydney, Australia. Now I'm on the plane back to Sydney. Check this out. There's literally less than like 10 people on this entire plane. Kind of nice. It's like the poor man's business when you can lay down in your whole row. I'm currently in Sydney. Anyone coming in, you have to do 14 days in a hotel. Cannot leave the room. Can't use the hotel, like gym, pool or anything like that. You're just purely locked in your room. This is uh, my home for the next 14 days. Decent size uh, bathroom. I'll be having some ice baths in there. There's a little coffee station. Golf clubs. Haven't really been used at all in here. In the heart of the city, there's Center Point Tower. So I'll do my workout, get the heart rate way up. These are really good for stability, which is uh, very important in the golf swing. And then just soak in a ice cold bath for about 10 minutes. And uh, here we go, 10 minutes. Oh, very good to do after workouts or just cut up whenever you can. Uh, you have a warm shower after and the body just feels amazing. So. What a year it has been, 2020, huh? Um, glad we were able to finally get through with that and move on to 2021. For me, 2020 has been quite a challenge. Um, it's been a big change in my life. It hasn't been all bad for me. What I'm doing now is I'm doing a lot of practice on the range, trying to get more consistent with my swing. And then I'll take that over to play on the weekends. And it's good that now I have a, the support of a, a golf course here in Indonesia, Central Highlands Golf Club. They supported me during the pandemic and I can go play there. And that's me right there. I'll be officially Central Highlands Golf Club ambassador for this year. Look how beautiful this course is. It's one of my favorite spots. You know, ever since I left school, um, in 2008, turn pro. Uh, it's been non-stop, just trying to get in as many tournaments and try to play in as many tournaments as I can, um, whatever I can get into. I feel like that's just been what, I've, what I had been doing for 12 years. This is Thailand, even with the COVID, uh, every day. <laughs> Sorry, Kap. My name is Alex Suanalat, 23 year old from Thailand. Golf is one of my dreams. Now it's my job. So it's like you go into the office, make money, and then go take care of yourself and your family. So it's like a dream and a job. So now it's no, no job. So kind of like stressful <laughs> everyone got to work from home i mean we still see like in us or in europe they're still playing but in thailand or asia we're not playing so it's kind of tough not getting into like the competitive in the morning just usual breakfast with my family my mom usually cook for me and my dad every day my dad went through the blood clot in the brain. So he have, he have to stay at the hospital and recovery like almost a month. And it's a tough time for us, but he getting better, everyone feeling better. So I think it's the most tough thing that I went through. And I mean, like I have to stay strong and we went through it and I'm happy. <laughs> 
Hey guys, we had a small Aussie Tour tournament last week. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the cut. I felt a bit rusty from doing two weeks in a hotel, so that's kind of my excuse. So hopefully I can just uh, you know, get back to some old ways. So pretty wild ending to the week. Um, the night of the second round, heading into the third round, we, we all get an email saying that tomorrow is gonna be 36 holes because a part of uh, Australia, South Australia to be specific, uh, are gonna close their borders because there's been like three cases in Victoria. So what the PGA have decided to do is put us on 36 holes in the one day, get the tournament completed. I played really solid in the morning, I shot four under, um, and it was quite windy and felt like I left a few out there too. Um, but all in all, it was, a, it was a really solid round. And then in the afternoon, I shot um, three under, finished 14 under for the week and 18 under one. A solid week, tight fourth, and uh, yeah, good improvement from last week. There'll be, there'll be a tournament in, in Sydney, which is nice. That's, that's where I live. Just sleep in my own bed, compete, play on courses that I'm kind of familiar with. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, so. I'm a massive coffee fiend. Recently got this thing AeroPress in my two week quarantine because it's the only decent sort of easy portable machine coffee maker. It's not really a machine. Um, that makes really good black sort of filtered coffee. Anyway, so here I am just making it on my balcony. Bit of a view. Awesome day in Sydney. So I'm taking my girlfriend out. <laughs> she shanked it. I've been really busy um, day trading uh, pretty much every day since March. Uh, started out really bad, but you know, in the end, I made money. I managed to put up some good profits, so hopefully I can uh, keep it going. What I learned from trading is it's not all about numbers, it's about controlling your mental state, controlling your fear, controlling your greed, and that's in line with what you have to do with a competitive golf. 2020 was the first time in my life like I get to think of something outside of golf. Yeah, for me, it's a chance to discover a life, you know, outside of tournament golf. Just before COVID, I actually met Dewi, um, who is now my girlfriend. Um, so we've been spending a lot of time, a lot, uh, during COVID. 90 yards. Oh, wow. That's a solid shot. Jimbo mid-size group, extra stiff shaft. That's definitely her club. Um, I'd go over to her house during the weekend. Hot pot tonight, fresh Wagyu beef and uh, we'd uh, go try out new restaurants and stuff. Yeah, that's where I normally land my helicopter, but you know, the traffic isn't so bad today. So I thought I'd just save some fuel. <laughs> A lot of people would say like, it's actually making life more complete. Um, you know, starting a relationship, um, getting a you know, a side hobby outside of golf. You know, I actually started to draw. I started to sketch. I actually rediscovered my passion for sketching and I drew a sketch of my girlfriend like a few months back. And that was like the first time I've done any sketch for the past like 20 years. Like last time I sketched was in high school in art class. So that was really good. So that's, that's a new thing for me. Um, for someone who's been just focusing 100% my entire life, like basically on golf, like my golf, where it's, where it's going and what I've been wanting to do with it, to now um, dividing my life proportionally. kind of tough not getting into like the competitive and you got to stay home work from home doing everything at home let me show you guys my work span and shipping and putting green <laughs> so this is my dumbbell right here 
Just sitting in front of the house. Let's walk to the backyard. Here we go. It's my putting green. At COVID, I've spent quite some time, like two or three hours a day, practice putting. I mean, someday I just 30 minutes. I mean, like, depend on how I feel and what I want to work on. And yeah, I'm usually shipping and putting here. So it's quite nice. When the gym is still closed in Thailand, I have to use every bit of space in my house. So it's my workspace. <laughs> in the morning, just usual. I have a workout plan with my fitness coach. I work out like at least five days a week. Hey guys, so it's Monday, uh, the week of the New South Wales Open, and uh, as you can see, I'm on the couch here. There's not much to do because it's been raining that much. They closed the course, can't even go there to practice, um, because it's basically underwater. I love you. I love you. Hopefully we can uh, get out on Wednesday. Hopefully the course dries out all right and it's just a regular week from Thursday to Sunday. I'll keep you all posted though. You love me too? I love you. Right now, I'm actually going to a drive through COVID testing place because I'm flying back to America on Monday and it requires a test uh, within 72 hours of departure. So I'm about to do that now. Let's see what you had on. But uh, yeah, I'm going back to America. I'm gonna hang out there. I'm gonna do some Monday qualifiers for the Corn Ferry, maybe for the PJ Tour as well. Um, I'm also going to do a Mackenzie tour Q school, which is the tour up in Canada. <coughs> um, I just don't want this year to look like last year, you know. Games, games feels good. Just want that opportunity, you know. So, I'll, um, yeah, keep you all posted. That's it for now. coolest things that I've done this year was actually getting on the TV commercial with UC 1000 water and first time I think I've ever done any commercial in my life so that was really cool the video part was actually pretty easy because all I got to do is just do my own my normal stuff didn't have to act or anything but the photo shoot was something else there's like five athletes one of them used to be be a UFC fighter and the other ones were just like the CrossFit guys they have like six packs and biceps and basketball shoulders and I have these babies right here these flat biceps <laughs> alright we're done <laughs> now everything is reopened I'm gonna play in Altana this week so I hope I'm doing well I did not bad, but not like what I expect. I expect to be like better, but it's okay. It's just the first two events. The good side is I work out a lot and it actually show off in the tournament. Maybe like my body feel better. Everything feel better. No injury. Pretty weird <laughs> because we, we stopped playing like competitive for, for a long time. And yeah, I mean, but in a good way, we have a lot of time to prepare ourselves. I'm just happy to be to to play on tournament, to play competitive golf, to play with my friend. Hey guys, so I'm at Sydney Airport, and there's no one around. The airport is so quiet. Normally, there's hundreds of people around here. Hey guys, so I just got my second vaccine shot. Um, we're using the Sinovac vaccine in Indonesia. I yeah, hope it goes well. Feeling good already. A little bit tired after the first shot. But we'll see how the second one goes. 
I'm going to hang out in uh, LA near Beverly Hills for like four days. Um, I'll try and get some videos for you all. And then I head off to Q School, Canadian tour Q School, down um, just outside of Atlanta in Georgia. I think my first step is going to be keeping the card and finishing like top 15 in audio memory. I mean, in Asian tour, we have a like really good player. So, I mean, everyone wants to win. All my friends out there, hopefully I'll see you sooner than later. Peace. But yeah, for now, about to board a plane. See you later. I hope Asian tour gonna be open soon and yeah, this is life on tour. Stay tuned.